How poverty is measured in the United States. Here are two families living in the United States. They have similar incomes, however one family is considered in poverty and the other is not. How could that be? Who decides who's poor in the United States? How is poverty measured? The answer takes us back 50 years. A boom economy after World War II brought tremendous prosperity to the country. But millions were left out. When President Johnson launched the War on Poverty in 1964, the Census Bureau needed an accurate way to determine who was in poverty and whether we were winning the battle to end it. But there was no official method. Enter Molly Orshansky, a government statistician who developed a simple way to measure poverty. In the early 60s, the average family spent about a third of their income on food. So Orshansky calculated the cost of feeding that family using the cheapest government food plan. Then she did some simple math. Since the Census Bureau needed a yardstick, Orshansky's method was pressed into service as the official poverty measure. Its shortcomings, however, were stark. Not only was the food plan unrealistic for daily life, the measure was absolute. A family that earned even one penny more would not be considered poor. More limitations soon emerged. Life is more or less expensive, depending on where you live. The measure doesn't take this into account. Today, food is a lot cheaper, but other necessities cost more, like transportation, health care, and child care. In its simplicity, the poverty measure both overstates and understates the realities of poverty. It overstates poverty by not counting benefits, like food stamps, subsidized housing, and child care. It understates poverty by ignoring expenses, like transportation, health care, and rent, that take a huge bite out of family income. Without an accurate way to count people and families in need, we don't know who's poor in the United States. And this impacts policy, programs, and people. When it comes to measuring poverty, how we count really does count.